my name is Amanda Marshall and I lost my leg about two years ago when it was diagnosed with a chondrosarcoma. Um, I was in the middle of my first year of medical school when I was having a lot of pain standing and they went ahead and took an x-ray and found an osteochondrome about the size of a football that spanned the inside of my right pelvis. And so the next day she let me know that she was going to go ahead and have to amputate but because she knew how typically it's really hard for a hemipovectomy to be successful wearing a prosthetic and she uh, did decided to do an experimental surgery. It's one that she'd done a couple times on trauma patients where she goes ahead and pulls the leg muscles of, or the muscles in the leg up into that pelvic cavity and packs it. Um, normally she uses a piece of the fibula to ask as a pelvic strut in there to give it some stability and a place for the muscles to attach to. Um, unfortunately, when she looked at my fibula, she found that there was an osteochondroma on that fibula and she really didn't want to run the risk of planting and pelvis. So instead, since that option was out, she went ahead and decided to pull up those leg muscles and pack it and she maintained the blood and the nerve supply to that region so that they wouldn't decay. My first prosthetic was made in Kansas and it was of a hard plastic and it went up over my ribs. It was really uncomfortable and hard to wear. And then I just got really lucky. I went to an MPT conference and I ended up meeting Stan and he talked about the silicone liner that would go low on my hips and it would attach and it just sounded kind of like too good to be true. Almost like, well, you know, I got warned a lot by some of the older amputees, like, you know, be careful, but, you know, everybody says it's hard. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is, but luckily it wasn't and it has been great. And so I've been really glad I came down here. My prosthetic is far more comfortable. Um, in some ways I'm lucky, not that you're lucky to have to lose your leg, but um, because I'm a hemi, um, pelvic, I don't have those bone muscles, but because the surgery Templeton did pack that area, so it gives the prosthetic a bulk to attach to, but without the bone there to rub. But I work with a cane, and my gait's getting pretty good. It's getting really good, and I'm excited about my prosthetic that's getting made right now because it's just going to fit better. You know, it's another one a second time around. It's just fitting better. It's getting a lot better. So um, during my year off, I switched from med school and I'm in law school, so I just finished my first year of law school, and so I'm getting ready back to go to school for the summer, or back from the summer, and I don't know, life's looking better. I'm finally getting everything worked. It's falling into place again.